You can see it in her eyes. Watching you from underneath a rock. Donna, the vampire bat, the mingiest beast. She ought to be locked up and never be released. Oh, come on, man. I love that. I love that. Corella is a new movie on that's been released on Disney Plus, and also you can watch it in theaters. To be asked me, all right, let me let you guys know on an insider, all right? So if you go on Disney Plus, you have to pay thirty dollars, right? Thirty dollars just to watch this movie. But if you go to the theater, pay ten dollars, watch it in theater. You save you save yourself a good twenty bucks. I'm trying to I'm trying to help your wallet, man. So Corella was directed by Craig Gillespie, and this film stars Emma Thompson, Emma Stone, Paul Walter Heiser, and it, this is like this is the origin story of the iconic villain, Corella Deville, the main villain in the 101 Dalmatians. Also, there's a live action 101 Dalmatians who's being played by Glenn Close. She played Corella, and uh, I like those movies. I, I like the live action movie. I like the uh, the animated movie. I absolutely love the animated movie. It was one of my favorite movies growing up watching. I used to have the tapes, you know, growing up. You know, I, I don't know. I no longer. I don't know where the tapes are now. I mean. It's, lost in time so i had like an emotional attachment going into this. so going into this movie yes the corella deville corella being played by emma stone i thought the performances from emma stone was just you know what i think what we need what i need to do is call 911 and figure out where emma stone lives because i witnessed a murder it was a horrific murder and I think that Emma Stone should be arrested for it because she killed it. Are telling me she killed it? Like I, she was unrecognizable. She blended into the role. Emma Stone had a groundbreaking performance into this movie. I was mesmerized. Like there's there's this like in her origin story. There is this plot that revolving around Corella that, ex that, ex that, that executes her story arc, and you get an understanding of her, of what she's striving towards, or what her motivations are. And the nature of her character, you know, she, like, you know, like, you know from the movies, like, she's a villain. There are some aspects to her character that are villainy, but also they, they change a few things that I kind of like because I want a film to take risks. Switch up. It don't need to follow the same formula. I'm looking at you, Lion King. But for Corella, you know, this is going to tie in to the 101, Dalm 101 Dalmatians. So going into that movie, that's what, you're, that's what most people are kind of expecting. But when you watch the movie, they change a few things. And it it kind of does go into 101 Dalmatians, but kind of doesn't. And this is where... This is where I really like about it. She's more like an anti-hero, more not really much a villain. You understand her character from an emotional standpoint. You actually support her in a way. In a in a more of a weird kind of way. The film deconstructs Corella's Deville's character. Her well, her her name is not Corella, her name is Estella. And then you get a there's a breaking point in her life that revolves around a change that basically changes dra her character drastically. And it elevated the plot. From an emotional level, and Emma Stone definitely killed it. And also, I love the interaction with Emma Thompson's character. She plays the Duchess in this movie. She's pretty much like the villain in this movie. And I love that chemistry dynamic, the interaction between Emma Stone and Emma Thompson's character. You feel, you feel the the, the intensity. You feel the craziness. The, the, how both uh, both of these characters are cynical as hell. I, now, most people are going to say this. It has a comparison to Devil Wears product mixed with Joker elements. And the film had a little bit of grit to it. And that goes with the cinematography and the, and the color palette. Hey, he used brighter colors, but also he had a little bit of darker colors in some scenes, which I really appreciated. But outside of that, this film was stylistic. The directing style was fantastic. Let's talk about the performances from outside of Emma Stone. What Paul Walter Heiser, he plays Horace. He was fun to watch. And this movie right here was really entertaining. I found myself enjoying myself from the first act leading on to the second act. And I don't consider these flaws. These more like nitpicks. The movie is two hours and 23 minutes long. The second movie does feel a little bit dull because it feels like the film was just kind of dragging itself out just to accommodate the time. 
And I felt like if they just took some parts out, like took like 30 minutes out, take that part out, take that part out, take that part out, I wouldn't be as bored in the second act. But in the third act, it elevated the plot and I would instantly back into it. So if, if, if you're watching this movie with kids, I wouldn't recommend having kids watch it because I feel like if kids watch it, they could be bored. This is more like a character study of the villain, Cruella. And it's a deconstruction of her character. And you know, you know what? I just said deconstruction. So you know, you know what movie I'm going to compare this to? The ultimate movie that revolve around deconstruction. BVS. So yes, I absolutely fell in love with the writing and fell in love with how they how they elevated her character. And and like I said, I grew an attachment to this movie. And there are some changes that they did with Corella that I didn't see coming. And it worked, but if you are a die-hard 101 Dalmatians and you've seen the movie, like, and you watch this movie, you're expecting something. You're expecting to have a connection. You're expecting to see a connection. Well, the connection is not necessarily there. And I feel like if you die-hard fans would not like that concept, would not like that part. Me personally, I didn't really care for it. But I accepted it for as a, as a film itself. But as a film itself, I absolutely like this film. This film was pretty good. Well directed. Great performances. Hands down. Emma Stone was like the tragedy. You can feel, you can feel the tragedy of, of the character. You can feel it. She has like a, a tragic performance. Like unrecognizable. Just... Close to Oscar worthy, if you ask me. So yeah, Cruella is pretty good. When I'm watching Cruella, you will get a good vibe. I mean, this film is funny at times, not as funny as I would have hoped, but it does have those dark moments. But I have to give Cruella a Christian Bell Batman. I really enjoyed this movie, and I feel like you will too. So that's my review of Cruella. Have you seen Cruella? What are your thoughts? Comment below. And let's talk about it. And I'll see you guys in my next review. If you like everything you see and you agree, subscribe to my channel and join me and the Batman family. I'll have more Batman-tastic reviews in a way. You have been warned. Till then.